So if you are a longtime watcher of my channel, you'll probably not be surprised by today's vegetable, fruit, whatever review, um, because I've talked extensively about this plant because I'm very excited about it. I'm growing it quite prolifically in my aquaponic setup, my natural aquaponic or uh, natural hydroponic slash fish, fishless aquaponic setup. Anyway, plenty of videos on that topic. Um, it's a rat's tail radish. But today, today I want to talk generally about um, eating radish seed pods, but specifically the variety I'm growing is a rat's tail radish, which is grown for its seed pods. It actually does not produce a root, like a bulb root that you would eat like a normal radish. It's a radish variety that is all about the seed pods. And I can see why. I'm going to taste it today. Um, I got a pretty mature pod where the, the seeds, the beans are fairly developed and uh, just a slightly less mature. Um, because there probably is an upper limit to what you want to eat. Because when they get really mature, they'll get a little hard and a little fibrous, kind of like a string bean. You, there's a certain point where you stop eating string beans. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. But again, this is the rat's tail radish. Mm. Okay, so uh, the, the seeds are not super well developed at this point. This is what the inside looks like. Disappear my face. This camera's the worst. Um, and uh, they basically, it's like eating a, like a snow pea. Honestly, that's the experience. Um, even at this stage, the, the, the outside shell is getting a little fibrous. So it's nice to eat them at this stage. Ooh, hot. Ah. Ooh, oh, that was hot. So the great thing about eating radishes and why you should eat radishes, I guess I will say, for their pods instead of the roots is you dig up a root, that plant is done. But you let that thing grow, it will keep putting out seeds. But you should definitely, if you want to focus on eating the pods of radishes, definitely go for a rat's tail radish or similar. Uh, there's related varieties because uh, these are more prolific because a normal radish, and I actually showed this previously in my aquaponics setup, I grew a, a French breakfast radish, just your typical root radish alongside the rat's tail radish. And in the same amount of time, the rat's tail radish produced tons of seed pods. The regular radish hadn't even bolted yet because, you know, typically you don't want your radishes to bolt. You want to grow the root. So in general, you should really focus on. But anyway, that's a, that's a, a growing topic. The flavor is amazing. So basically, if you could grow wasabi peas, that's what this tastes like. Like those, those fancy peas that you buy all slathered with wasabi radish sauce or whatever, whatever the heck that thing is. It basically tastes like that, honestly. It's like a snow pea, I mean, because you get all the heat of a radish. And I love radish heat. So this is the great thing about radishes is um, uh, the heat is nice. So it's not like a, a hot pepper where... You know, you eat it and then you're suffering like, you know, 10 minutes later and it's just burning and miserable and your whole system suffers. I love wasabi heat. I love radish heat. Wasabi just being a type of radish. It's the same sort of heat where it kind of goes, it, blow, it blows up your whole face, but it doesn't linger too long. Like already I can still, my actually my tongue is still a little bit numb, but in general, the most of the heat and sensation is gone. So it's a really nice rush, but it doesn't last forever. So it's a sprint, not an endurance race in terms of heat, but they're so good. So basically it's like wasabi peas. The actual experience of eating it is a lot like a snow pea, even at the more mature state, but it's good. If you like green beans, if you like snow peas and you like the heat of radishes, that's all there is in a, a radish seed pod. So I highly suggest you eat them. If you're just normal radishes bolt, collect those seed pods, save them like beans like string beans um, or buy or, or grow a variety where it's only the seed pods and then you can enjoy tons and tons of radish heat from one little plant and I think that's also what's nice too is you get the heat of the radish but also the cool greenness of a pea or a bean so it's like a nice combination it's like the best of both worlds so eat your radish seed pods they're all edible but I highly recommend the rat still radish specifically and that is all I have to say about that. So in any case, thank you so much for watching. Um, and if you like these sorts of plant, food, vegetable, whatever reviews, make sure to give me a thumbs up and comment below. Make a suggestion or something I could try. As much as possible, I'm going to review things that I've actually grown. 
Um, so down the line, there'll be lots more because I'm always growing something. Even in the middle of winter, I grow inside. So as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey.